Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day. A rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. Or in actual fact, the we. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will will wish to to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort. You have to follow it. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Alexandre Lacazette. He really is a top-class striker, Peter. His movement's so sharp and instinctive, and his first touch is usually bang on giving him the best possible opportunity of, of getting an effort away. He's not just a goal poacher, though. He puts in a, a good defensive shift to pressing the opposition high up the pitch. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Aimed in towards the centre. Eriksson. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Shaka! It's off target and by quite a way. Granit Shaka put absolutely everything he had into that. Maybe better look next time. Monreal. Ramsey tries to get it forward quickly. Lacazette really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Kolasinac does well there, alert. And helps available out wide. Great leap! It's there! Arsenal take the lead! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Arsenal break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Trippier going through. well to the initial effort but couldn't get it right out of the danger area i might sound a little harsh here but the keeper i felt could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area tottenham and the equalizer and we're all square yeah it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored you can easily lose focus and then bang you're pegged back again for pastathopoulos Hoists it forward, and it's played forward, and that's sprayed out wide, and he just whacks it away. The Tongan can get it clear. 
Managed to get it away. And we've reached half-time. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Already up and running for the second half. Well, reported to change to either side during the break. And they've been caught out here. Up he gets! And the ball's come out. The clearance and very necessary. Good delivery, but no joy. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Sissoko gets it back. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Trippier. With a delicate ball. Eriksson looking to get on the end of this. He's got away. Eriksson. And the shot! Danger averted for now. Dele Alli. Aubameyang with a good steal, well played. Monreal. Kolasinac. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Lacazette. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Shaka! That is gorgeous! A finish of true class! And again they hit the front! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. For Pastathopoulos. Tottenham are looking desperate here, short on time and options. At least they're going about it as they should, having brought this on themselves. Mustafi. Monreal. Koscielny. Koscielny goes looking. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Arsenal probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And time is up. Tottenham lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. The end of the game. Reflections? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and good